friends, this video on kinetic theory part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 16 before going ahead with part 17. Now we'll see how is kinetic theory consistent with ideal gas equation and the gas laws. So let us first look at the consistency with ideal gas equation. So from the kinetic interpretation we found that the average kinetic energy is equal to 3 by 2 kb into t. So from this we can say energy E is equal to 3 by 2 n kb into t. This tells us that the internal energy that is the total energy is proportional to temperature. It says that the total internal energy is proportional to temperature. That is the internal energy of an ideal gas depends only on temperature, not on pressure or volume. So this is exactly what is given by the ideal gas equation. So the ideal gas equation also tells us the same thing that the total internal energy depends only on temperature and not on pressure or volume. Now let us look at the consistency with a gas law that is the Dalton's law of partial pressure. Now for a mixture of ideal gases, the total pressure P will be equal to 1 by 3 Nm V square bar from kinetic theory, right? Because this expression is given by the kinetic theory. Therefore, we can say that if a vessel consists of a mixture of gases, we can say that that will be 1 by 3 N1 M1 V1 square bar plus N2 M2 V2 square bar plus so on. Right? Now, in equilibrium, average kinetic energy of molecules of different gases will be equal. That is, in equilibrium, average kinetic energy of molecules of different gases. I'm writing these statements so that it becomes easier for you when you want to write them or when you want to present them in your exams. So at equilibrium, the average kinetic energy of molecules of different gases will be equal, right? Because at equilibrium, the net thing is going to be zero. The gas is in a steady state. So we can say that half M1 V1 square bar will be equal to half M2 V2 square bar is equal to 3 by 2 Kb into T. This will be the equation at equilibrium. So we can say that the total pressure P will be equal to 1 by 3 into 3 by 2 Kbt plus 3 by 2 Kbt plus 3 by 2 Kbt. So the same term will get repeated n number of times. So we can say, so this will get repeated n times. So we can write it as 1 by 3. I'm sorry, it will not be n times. Why? Because the number of molecules, that is the value of n will be different, right? So it will be 3 by 2 n1 Kbt. This will be 3 by 2 N2 kVt. This will be 3 by 2 N3 kVt. And dot dot dot. So this will be 1 by 3 into 3. So inside we will be left with 3 kVt. So inside we will have N1 plus N2 plus dot dot dot. So this will be equal to KBT. I'm sorry, here I have made a mistake. This 2 should not be there. You calculate this on your own and you'll get it. This is just simple mathematics. 
So this 3 and 3 will get cancelled. So we will get KBT into N1 plus N2 plus dot dot dot. Now what is this KB? KB is nothing but R by NA by definition, right? Because R universal gas constant is equal to KB into NA. So this will be R by NA. So N1 plus N2 plus so on. Now this can be written as I'm doing the remaining part here and be written as mu1 plus mu2 plus dot 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 into rt right because this n by na is nothing but mu as I told you mu is number of molecules divided by now Avogadro's number so this is nothing but P1 plus P2 plus so on. That is Dalton's law of partial pressure. That is the total pressure is equal to the sum of the partial pressures of all the gases. So I hope this is clear to you now. We started from kinetic theory. We started from the expression that we got from kinetic theory and then we concluded in the expression from the Dalton's law. That is how we find the kinetic theory is consistent with ideal gas equation as well as the gas laws. Now depending, now whatever we studied about kinetic theory, deriving pressure of an ideal gas, deriving temperature of an ideal gas and how do we interpret pressure and temperature, we will solve some problems. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.